Big Buford has landed. Holy shit ball! <laughs> Walking in my room for the first time since being out. Ooh, that's set up nice. Yee! My new computer's still on the way. I think the 26, I think. Dear baby Jesus, thank you very much. Yo, what up, guys? <coughs> Yo! Oh my god, I can't believe it. He's out. He's fucking out. So if you remember my jail news video, I bet that we'll be out in 10 days. Jesus, Lord Almighty, he got out in five. <laughs> This is the luckiest craghead I've ever seen. The boss man had his hearing on the 24th, and uh, as you might have guessed by the intro, it went pretty well for him. Thanks to the amazing QE farms and their army of autists documenting Austin's life, we got the info that uh, Rat Dad scored the deal to get Austin out of jail. And that deal was that as soon as he was bonded out, he would go straight to rehab. That's right, baby. He's gonna try it again. Certainly gonna work this time, right, Austin? Rehab's just a scam. You gotta just want help, just change if you want help. You don't need to rehab. I've been four times, I promise you. All you need to do is want to change. There was an old clip of him I found, of his last experience in rehab. Surely this time it will be different, right guys? So he managed to get out on a thousand dollar bond, on the condition that he tends rehab for 30 days, that he abstains from marijuana, other illicit drugs, and alcohol. Which is gonna be tested for as he's in rehab. I wouldn't put it past him to screw that one up, somehow get his getting his hands on drugs while he's in rehab, but uh, we'll see. For now, the next score date is set for October 29th, and if uh, he's a good boy during rehab, uh, pretty sure after that he's gonna be able to stay on bond. So he'll be able to stay home with Rat Dad and Rat Mom and make their lives hell, as he usually does. Shout outs to Long Cow Supreme again for having been there, as he was present as an independent observer. He even got a sneak peek of Rat Dad. Look at him. Big shout outs to Rat Dad. He really pulled through for us rats this time. A lot of rats have said that Rat Dad hates Austin's guts. I very much doubt that claim. I think he really loves his son, despite the glaring faults that he has. He still managed to pull through a deal that would get Austin out of jail and actually get some real help to come off of drugs. So clearly, he loves his son. And his actions means that we get to have Austin out, giving us content again. So thanks, Rat Dad. Let's all take one second to thank Rat Dad. All right, but before we get to the rehab, Let's check out how Bossman announced his newfound freedom on his Discord. Hello, home guys. Well, I gotta go straight to rehab, but I missed you guys, and it feels good to be out of jail, that's for damn sure. Woo! Ric Flair! So you guys are seeing right now, the mood in that Discord just switched in a second. As soon as every single rat saw boss was back, they went straight to glazing mode. I'll be in rehab for 30 days. I can stream on the weekends, guys, on my phone. You know what I'm about to do? I'm about to sell that M9 bayonet, guys. I need the money. Bro, it's so funny you're saying that. Look where I'm at, D-Claws. Getting one right now, son. Yeah, buddy. About to have the most glorious meal. Big Buford has landed. I'll be honest, this Big Buford's pretty good, but the jail food knocked this set way out of the water. Psych! Psych! Apparently I had this very rehab. I've been to this very rehab before. They don't allow skateboarding because um, somebody brought a skateboard there one year and split their ball sack open on the railing. Almost to my house where I'm gonna post the M9 and then I guess I'll head on over to the rehab place which is like, what, two hours away, Dad? Two hours and 15 minutes away from where I live, so. Oh uh, yeah, dude, I actually, I might even buy wall in rehab. Probably not though, but yeah. A car, that is. Nah, man, I stuck my phone in, uh, Pickle. I'm in cell uh, 19. That particular Pickle is not me, by the way. It's just some random dude called Pickle. <laughs> Walking in my room for the first time since being out. Ooh, that's set up nice. Sheesh. Got the Logitech Herman Miller. Dude, my new computer's still not here. It should be here any day, though. My new computer's still on the way. I think the 26, I think. So, as you've just seen, he's not back in the crack then. And he just couldn't help himself. He just had to flex that Logitech chair. 2K, by the way. Do you have 2K to spend on a chair, dude? Because the boss man can. You know you've got your priorities straight. When you're thinking of flexing 20 minutes before you have to leave for rehab. After you've just gotten out of jail. Man, Austin will never change. Alright, so quickly after this, he booted up his PC and he started a stream. What up, gang? I gotta be really quick. Smoking all the sour, but I got my cowboy for 
all these cowards. Ha! Ah, look at that crack jaw go. Oh my god. He's already back on the stuff. Alright, let's get on. See us, see us float, guys. Hey! Can't hold a boss man down. Hey, Dappin, you wanna help me keep keep up? You wanna help me keep the chat in line? Well, I'm gonna rehab and shit. I'll, I'll mod you and Clipsy and shit up. That's the only people I can trust nowadays. Alright, let's go see his flow. I gotta sell some shit. I got like 10 minutes, bro. If that. Alright, let's go. We got you. Alright, Dappin. Alright, Dappin. You're modded. Watch the draw. It's a mice have been now. There we go, y'all. Should be modded. Thanks for all the subs, guys. Thanks for all the subs. I love you guys. Alright, let's go, guys. Oh my god, look at that fucking break deck! Woo! God damn, boy! Damn, son! Damn, son! Damn, son! Damn son! Damn son! Damn son! <laughs> I don't have time to gamble. How much did I sell it for? How much did I sell it for? I need to sell it quick. Quick, quick. 10.6. Hurry up and buy that shit. If you want to buy it, that's a steal. Have you guys noticed it yet? Never mind the crack draw. It's not about that. Did you notice anything else? Specifically in the room. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. The door is finally on the hinges yeah the door's the door's fixed guys can you fucking believe it my door is finally fixed holy shit ball holy shit ball there's no way there's no dear baby jesus thank you very much for the door i've always wanted one i'm so thankful you finally got me one sir thank you amen Okay. <laughs> hey. 10K? No. No. 10.5? I shake rolling up that dang. How do I accept this? Oh, it's already been a climb. I'll be live on the weekends, yeah. I'll be live on the weekends. Hey! I sold that motherfucker, baby! Woo! Let me go tell my dad I sold it. Dad! Dad! I already sold it. 10.6,000. Yeah. Yes, I am. I'm so glad I finally got one. Yeah, thank you guys. All right, where's my phone charger? So shit, Pop Paul. Feels good waking up to 10.5 in the bank. 10.5 in the bank. Oh, my phone's dead. I need to turn my phone. Oh my gosh. Can you back inside? Ow. Okay. Oh, I need a phone charger ASAP. I need a phone charger ASAP. I need one to plug in and sell it. I need to sell my item. One eternity later. What is this? What? A door? What? <laughs> Alright, I gotta plug my phone in quick. I already sold that motherfucker. 10.6 wow. I know it's a little underpriced, but it's okay. Damn, that door nice. Chair is amazing, dude. Oh. Love this chair, dude. Yeah, I just got out, y'all, like an hour ago. I'm not sure what happened, Chips. We'll have to see. Crazy story? Not really. I slept a lot. I slept a lot in there. I was only in there for like five days. Maybe six or something. We're kicking it down as soon as your mom comes through with that fat ass pussy. I'm gonna break that door down, boy. I'm gonna break her back and break my chair at the same time. No, I'm not sick. What the f are you talking about? What kind of question is that? Second, I get home from jail. It wasn't very scary, nah. You just stay. You just keep staying your own lane. All right, here we go, guys. He must have smoked everything he had at home before he got sent to rehab, for sure. Have you guys noticed one thing? I'm not doing. I'm not doing this the whole fucking stream, man. Like what the? F it was so obvious I was doing drugs, bro. It was so obvious I was doing coke. Ah! He canceled it. Wait, what the f is going on? Okay, this guy's name is Zada. Zada, he's a level 215. Looks good. Firm offer. I just traded it to him. I just traded it to him. And it's a little under, but I gotta get going to rehab, so. I'm checking, I'm about to leave my house in like five minutes. I'll be there in like two hours at the rehab. What's today anyways? Wednesday? What is today? Tuesday. I don't get my phone till Friday, guys. Like Friday, maybe even Saturday. I think it's Saturday mornings I get them. But I'll have my phones on Saturdays and Sundays, so I'll do live streams for you guys. IRL live streams for you on the weekends. I can stream some up on the way there, yeah. Yeah, I'm just getting one thing at a time. Drugs first, then then we will. Oh, I got the money, I got it! Look at that, guys! Look at that! Look at that balance. It taxes you a little bit, but I'll be over here for a month. I'm staying clean, dude. My clean day is now the 10, is 10, 19, or uh, 9, 19, 2024. I'm never going back, dude. I don't want to go back to using drugs. Hold on, guys.
I'm going to work with the cigarette. I should withdraw all of it. Nah, you know we'll do we'll do a three hundred dollar we'll do a three hundred dollar CS float giveaway this weekend. How's that sound, guys? I'm yeah, I'm selling it right now. Live streaming smoking. What? They already sent it to the prosecutor. It's a fucking cigarette. It's a cigarette. Chill out. Dude, Red Dead is such a bus kill. Yeah, well, he needs to go right now. Who is that? Is it really? It's a cigarette. Alright, tell them why I said sell it. They need a rehab. You didn't tell them that? Okay, I'm ending the stream right now, dude. Alright, I gotta go, guys. Someone already called my prosecutor. I told him I was smoking on stream. Alright, it's out. I'm my fucking lawyer on the phone with my dad. I'm leaving right now, bro. I'm fucking coming, dude. Yo. Yo. I don't see it in my bank account. I gotta go, guys. I gotta go. Alright. I love you guys, man. I'll see you later. Love you guys. I'll see you there. Peace, everybody. See you guys. All right, and off to rehab with Rat Dad it was. But Austin being awesome, he couldn't just give Rat Dad a break and just have a nice, relaxing father and son road trip. No, no. He had to give us updates on the way. First, it started with some pictures and eventually some videos. On the way to rehab with my boy Trappy, my dad. Oh, it just cleared up some. It's not as foggy now, but uh, yeah, about two hours away. I've actually been to this rehab before. Um, it's really cool. You can order food on the weekends. I can order like a pizza or like a sub or calzone, Chinese. And not to mention, the food they have there is amazing. They have their own chef. There's a gym there. There's a basketball hoop. You get to go out on a pass on the weekends. It's awesome, man. You get your phones on the week. Your phone on the weekends. A lot of cool things with this. You can smoke cigarettes. It's co-ed. There's girls there too. Just like that, dude. Yeah, buddy. Got the Jordans on. Yeah, buddy. So as you guys heard, he's been to this rehab before. And I stumbled upon a clip that I think must have been from his last visit there. I haven't had money of my own in like nine months now. So I'm hoping when I get out of here, dude, I can can I can make some bank and uh, get out of debt, man. That's my goal. I'd love to get out of debt, man. There's really nothing more that I'd like to get out of debt, dude. Yeah, I'm in rehab, man. I'm in rehab. I've been in here for 29 days, I believe. And I get out tomorrow, boys. So we're going to get back to the staking. We're going to get back to the lit streams. We're going to play good music. It's going to be fun times, guys. So yeah, that was a 29 day visit. Um, we can all attest as to how effective that rehab stay was. I'm pretty sure we can expect as much from this one. Bossman also mentioned that there were girls there. Now I stumble upon this clip. Now fair warning, it's a fucked up story. I'll get. I'll let y'all in on something. I, I, I just told Kevin about this. I told somebody about this earlier. I fucking had sex with this girl right after I got out of rehab when I was 19. And guess what happened? An hour after we had sex. I'm serious. Guess what happened an hour after we had sex? She fucking died from a heroin overdose. So I literally had sex with this girl, went back to my house, and went to bed, woke up the next morning, got a phone call that she was fucking dead. Yeah, sad shit. Now to lighten the mood, we fast forward to boss man getting to the rehab place and gracing us with this last video before his first night there. I got to update y'all, I'm here, I made it. Um, let's see, yeah, it's a, uh, here, let me show y'all around really quick, because I gotta fill out this paperwork before they take my phone and shit, but um, yeah, it's a one month program. I'll be in rehab. I just landed in rehab. If you're just now learning or just now hearing, this is the rehab I'm in. It doesn't look too fancy, but it's actually an old Civil War hospital, which I think is really cool. But um, yeah, dude, uh, they got a gym. They got fucking, they got all sorts of shit, dude. The co-ed, you can smoke cigarettes and shit like that. But um, yeah, uh, I was gonna say something I can't remember. Either way, yeah, I'll keep you all updated as much as I can. And I just want to say that uh, like, thank you guys for sticking with me through all these fucking lockups and all these fuck up things I keep doing and shit like that but uh yeah thank you guys very much for everything and uh I'll be fine man this will be the if I complete which I will if I complete this month sober this will be the longest I've been sober in like years excuse me I've already been woofing down some coffees but yeah dude uh yeah I'll be well man and uh yeah I'll keep y'all updated man on Saturday I'll be live like on the weekends and shit I get to go live on the weekends so yeah man I'll keep updated peace out y'all love y'all man peace 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 Oh, isn't that cute? Don't worry, Austin. Us rats will never let you go. We will always be there for you, Austin. Whether you like it or not, we'll be there. Anyway, so Mr. Austin spent his first night in rehab, and eventfully so. Seeing as they took his phone, there wasn't much he could do to show it to us, at least. But the following day, blessed Austin graced us rats with these photos. Look at that! Clean Man Jack! 
Looking fresh, baby. Man, Mrs. Smith is gonna love this. Mrs. Smith, stop! Alright, fellas, we are deep in the rehab arc. We'll have to sit and wait and see how this one plays out. Bossman has 30 days in the rehab center. He promised that he would be doing streams on the weekend as he has the loudest phone on the weekends. Apparently, it's gonna be just IRL streams. I very much doubt that. I bet he's gonna do Gamba on the weekends. We'll see. What do I think about whether or not he's actually in rehab, like to legit stop? I'm not saying he's lying per se. He probably thinks he's gonna be able to stop the drugs just from being 30 days in the rehab. I just think he's delusional. And after the 30 days, if he's allowed to go back home, he's gonna start doing drugs again. There's no ifs or buts about it. It's happened every single time he's been in rehab. It's gonna happen again. 30 days is not enough. Now, is he gonna screw it up even while he's in rehab? I hope not, because that would probably mean he would be sent back to jail again. And us rats do not like that. We want Austin out of jail and giving us content. Let's hope for the best with this rehab arc so that Austin stays out of jail. Now, as for me, as soon as he starts doing his RL streams on the weekends, I will be doing videos about that, showing you guys what he's up to on the weekends. If he doesn't deliver on that promise, I'll be showing you guys older content that I still have not covered on the Bossman Jack. So to make sure you don't miss that, don't forget to like and subscribe. Come on, do it now. Double chuck that sub button right now. And if you want to triple chuck that sub button, hit that join button now. And become a member of the Pickle Time Deli. Each membership comes with a complimentary pickle that I will be sending you in the mail with Jet Fighters. So he gets there really quickly. That's it. All of my Bossman Jack videos have been showered with comments. I love reading them. I always try to respond to them. So keep it up, guys. If you want to stay in touch with me, make sure to join the Discord or hit me up on Twitter. All right, boys. That's it for me today. This has been Pickle Time. See ya.